by this Egil, the radio prepper. I think it started. Hello? Hello? Oh, this is bad. Is anyone out there? We're survivors held up in a warehouse. The zombies have overrun the no city. Idea. Supplies are running short. Is anyone out this there? This is not the time we need help. to set up communications for your group. I should have done this before. The zombies have been beating on the doors day and night for weeks now. I'm not I really sure should have made a Yagi directional antenna so I could contact the members of my group from a far distance. Something for PMR, you know, like FRS in the US. 446 megahertz. Wow, this is bad. <laughs> I hope you like that. But it is true, it's not when the uh, SHTF that you have to start learning things and making stuff. You have to do it before. And I have a small group now, just a few people. But I really want them to be able to uh, contact each other and, you know, being in touch uh, with me also, of course. So I decided to go for PMR, which is uh, the equivalent to FRS in the US. So the radios are, of course, the same. It's a very low power, 500 milliwatts, antennas you cannot change, and so on and so forth, just like FRS. But in the event of a catastrophic event, of course, an emergency, uh, you have the right to use any means possible to call for help or communicate, you know, if it's a life or death situation kind of thing. And uh, those little radios, the PMR radios, uh, actually are quite good, you know, maybe just uh, for a mile or, you know, a couple of miles at the most, but they're legal for people who don't have a license. However, I think it's a good idea to have a regular radio with a little bit more power uh, and better antennas programmed for those frequencies, so FRS or PMR. Of course, it's illegal to use them, don't forget about that. So it's not for transmitting, it's for, it's for listening and just in case. Let's look at the design. I will post the link to the Yagi calculator down below in the description. The center frequency is 446.1 MHz, and that's for PMR in Europe. You guys in the US, of course, would have to use the uh, FRS frequencies, or any frequencies you want for that matter. The boom length, I chose 1.7 meters, simply because uh, it just fits in my car. Now, the gain is 12.3 uh, dBd, and that means compared to a dipole, which is a lot of gain. Here we have the uh, boom material, which is non-metallic because, of course, it's wood. Uh, we don't care about boom diameter or correction or anything like that. The uh, driven element is 3 mm in diameter and I use copper. The parasitic elements are 4 mm and I use aluminum. Here are the uh, results in metric, so it's in millimeters. And here are the uh, US standard measurements, <laughs> which look much more complicated. I am starting by uh, marking my stick here one centimeter from the end. And this will be the last element. Now I put a mark at the other end where the reflector is. And here is where the driving element is going to be. But we have a particular case here because the way I want to build the antenna is that I want a gap so that I can put the coax cable here and there will be two sticks here on the side. This one won't be here. You'll see that later. But what I want to do now is calculate half a centimeter on this side and half a centimeter on this side. So I will have a one centimeter gap. And now I just have to cut the stick right here. But before doing that, I will mark where all the other elements are going to be on this side. I just cut my stick and the driving element will come right here. Then I'll have two other sticks like so, which will extend to form a handle. Here's the whole assembly with the uh, driving element right here. And this will be basically the handle of the antenna. The driver should be oh, somewhere here. So there won't be much space here to hold the antenna. Maybe I'll put an extension. 
I had to make the handle a little bit longer so here I epoxied everything together and all I have to do now is drill the holes for the elements. I just finished cutting my elements and I marked them for insertion so I have nine directors, one driven element and of course one reflector. I'm not going to show you all the details of the build, I already have a UHF Yagi Uda video so please uh, go check it out and uh, I'll just move on and show you the uh, few steps and the final result. I put in all the elements, not uh, to the end. I left a little bit here for to put some epoxy and then I'll hammer them in until the uh, the mark here, the masking tape comes right next to the wood. And here is the uh, radiating element, here you can see in the center, five millimeter gap. It will be connected of course to the coax cable, which goes along here, a couple toroids for a choke and an SMA cable for the radio. While there is still no word on a cure for the virus, government officials report the virus is not airborne, but can be transferred through contact with blood and other bodily fluids. The virus seems to be making people uncontrollably violent, and also somehow seems to be reanimating the dead. When asked, a White House spokesman declined to comment on whether or not this was a terrorist attack. Due to the violent nature of the ones infected, the virus is spreading rapidly. Government officials are reporting that there is no known cure for the virus and is urging citizens to stay in their homes and avoid contact. Citizens are also urged to lock and barricade all doors, windows, and any other point of entry. Riots nationwide are prompting local governments to declare martial law. The president is asking that citizens find safety and remain calm. Authorities are working on a plan to contain the outbreak. And here's the whole antenna, finished with all its elements and the uh, feeding point with epoxy to uh, hold everything together and a couple uh, toroid cores for a, an RF choke. I'm pretty far from 446 here but uh, I can't legally test it on uh, 446 megahertz so I'll have to try to call my local repeater. Fox for Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Bonsoir, ici Gilles, F4, Whisky, Bravo, Yankee, à l'écoute. It's very directional. And I mean, just a few degrees makes a big difference. I barely move and uh, I lose the signal, but I get a big improvement uh, when I'm spot on. F4 uh, Whiskey, bravo, Yankee. Bonsoir, bienvenue sur le relais de Lille. Bonsoir, ici Gilles, F4 uh, Whiskey, bravo, Yankee, pour un essai d'antenne, merci. Euh, oui, bonsoir, ici Gilles, F4 uh, Whiskey, bravo, Yankee, vous me recevez Ah, c'est Whisky Bravo Yankee. Whisky Bravo Yankee. F4 euh, Whisky Bravo Yankee. Que ça Oui, pardon. F4 Whisky Bravo Yankee. Opérateur Gilles, bonjour. Ici l'opérateur est Bruno. Et je me trouve juste à côté de la ville de Lille. Euh, voilà. Euh, J'entends le micro. Eh bien, merci beaucoup d'avoir retourné mon appel. Hein. Je suis en train de tester une Yagi à 11 éléments. Là. Euh, je suis à Comines avec un, un petit avec un portable. Hein. Et apparemment, ben, ça marche. Hein. C'est extrêmement directionnel, mais si je la pointe dans la bonne direction, ça a l'air de marcher très très bien. À vous. Euh, 
quand vous êtes euh, en UHF. Hein. Oui, bah oui. Euh, Even more than 10 MHz off frequency, it's still working pretty nicely. And I'm very happy about this antenna. Uh, this will be a great asset just in case for my uh, group's communications. Have a good one.